our charity champion this week wants you to use Valentine's Day this year as an opportunity for a random act of kindness. Dr. Amy Pollard believes that giving something to others and perhaps receiving a little bit of love back in return is a huge boost to our mental health and she's hoping the hashtag Great British Valentine is going to be spreading a little bit of non-romantic love and goodwill this year. We're very much talking about the agape love, aren't we? Thanks for joining us, Amy. Thank you Good so morning, much for Amy. having me. Oh, Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Tell me, hello. tell me about your idea and where it came from, because I just think it's smashing. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, so it's a, it's a new idea. We basically thought, could we take Valentine's Day? Which, frankly, who who looks forward to Valentine's Day? <laughs> not me. Um, could we take it in a different direction? Could it, what if it was not just about romantic love, but also about kind of friendship and goodwill in a broader sense? And, you know, it's been a tough few years in Britain, hasn't it, lately? We haven't always been that nice to each other. And um, it feels like people have sometimes, like, got had a bit of a wobble about, is it just all nastiness out there? Or, you know, might the kindness have, have kind of gone away, you know? And um, so with Great British Valentine, members of the public, you're all welcome, can sign up to uh, send a homemade card with a message of goodwill, not romance, to a stranger, and then have someone allocated to send a card to you. Is it Great really thing. that easy? It's literally that easy, yes. <laughs> and can I have a card? If I sign oh. up, will I get one? Uh, hopefully. I mean, it's all human beings involved, so we will cross our fingers for you. We do have a backup plan, though. So um, if the person who's asked to send a card to you doesn't manage to do so, um, and obviously, you know, no one's absolutely perfect, we have people volunteer as emergency kindness heroes to send an extra card to anyone who hasn't received one. So last year, like, over 85% of people got cards, and uh, this year our system's even better, so we're, we're pretty confident that we're going to up the numbers pretty well. Emergency um, kindness hero i love that title <laughs> i imagine them with the pants on the outside of their tights and capes i am well, an emergency <laughs> kindness hero <laughs> well Fantastic. we all need one in our lives don't, don't we very true yeah. yeah but that's the thing that i think is so special you know there's there's not there's a lot of times when you can give to charity and give to someone who's worse off than you but how often can you show that y you can give something to someone else but also receive something because we all need um, a bit of kindness. We all need a bit of love too. And I think it's that shared humanity that, for me, feels like a really special thing. And when pe when you see the cards that people post on, on you know, hashtag Great British Valentine on their social media, and they send the most extraordinary things, like beautiful, like messages to lift people up when they're at their lowest stab, like tea bags so you can share a brew, like oh, little jokes. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. So it is really lovely. And it just makes you realise, like, of course, you know, bad things do happen and we don't always treat each other well, but there is a lot of kindness out yeah. there too. That hope is out there and we can be that hope for each other. And how often do we get a letter that's got a stamp on it? You know, we're so used to getting the only letters that come through my door are either junk mail or ones with windows that I don't really exactly. want to open. You know, you know those yeah, letters know. with a little window. You don't want the window letters. Do you want a stamp on and a handwritten, handwritten letter? I know, it does make you feel a bit special, doesn't it? And it's so funny, like, running this project myself, like, I kind of think, oh, well, if I get one, that would be nice, but I don't need one. I, I, say, I say to myself I don't need one. But when it falls through your doormat, my goodness, it feels incredible, you know, to, to realise that someone's taken the time to write out, you know, a special message for, for me to, to give me that little lift. You know, I, I, I've still got my card from last year and it really lifts me up, actually. It really does. And it's got a serious message, hasn't it? Because it is about improving mental... I mean, you know, warm, fluffy feelings in our tummy and all that sort of stuff. But actually, it, it is a really serious issue about improving people's mental health. That's right. And there's, there's a lot of evidence there. Um, giving a random act of kindness and receiving one too, um, it does, does, does lift us up. I think when people feel like they're falling apart, they so often think that they're alone. And this is a new way of coming together. It's a new way of connecting with others and realising that we're not on our own in the world. There are people out there. If, even if maybe you don't have someone special in your life, there are people out there who are rooting for you simply because you're a human being, not because you have to do anything special, be a particularly like important celebrity or or, or, any, or achieve something magical to, to deserve um, the, the sense that you matter, that you do matter to people and, and people do want you to come through things. Well, that's such a wonderful initiative and Amy also has your faith been a big inspiration to your it approach to mental health <laughs> it has actually yeah so you know I've had 
I've had some tough times myself, and and for me, like going to the, I go to St Andrews in in a nineteen shout out St Andrews. Um, Yay, and morning, St Andrews. <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, it's been that unconditional acceptance of of me, um, just as a human being, that's been so powerful. Like my husband, my husband's a, a huge atheist, and he's, he's he doesn't um, he can't really get on board with, with a lot of some things at church. But the one thing that we both um, we both really love is you know the the loaves and the fishes story um where the, you know, the, the, the lo- there's suddenly enough food for, for everyone my, my husband's explanation of that is is that you know everyone had their their, their loaves and their fishes like carried secretly in their bags and they just started sharing them and that was that was it there wasn't a proper miracle and for me but that that is the bit even if that was the explanation that would be the bit that was miraculous is that we all carry in our bags in our persons in our lives the ability to show that humanity and love for other people mm-hmm. and we don't always show it and the miracle is when that opportunity arises and we step into it um and you know in a very very modest little way it's been truly miraculous to, to me to know that we could just throw this little invitation out in the world that people could um you know please demonstrate their goodwill for for others and that people really are thirsty for that. people really do it's just beautiful. Do you know, I only wish it was telly. I've got a great big smile on my face and yeah. a little, <laughs> a little so, bit misty eyes. Isn't it so refreshing so to hear? So lovely. Yeah. I love loveliness. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> just little Thank things you. as well, isn't it? Just the little tiny things, you know, somebody making you a cup of tea. I, w- you like know? you just did. Like I did for you it's and you do for me thing. some days it's as well. beautiful thing, Amy. Uh, and Amy, how do we get involved then with the hashtag Great British Valentine? Because it's such a lovely idea. Oh, bless you. Um, so go to uh, www.greatbritishvalentine.uk and sign up for free by the 4th of February. So we've got a few more days, just by the 4th of February, greatbritishvalentine.uk. Get involved. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this all started because it was kindness. There's me talking about how Kate and I, we make each other cups of tea and we have a lovely big hug at 5 o'clock in the morning when we meet for the first time for seven days. And this was kindness from a neighbour for you. Yeah, so... Yeah, so I, I, I'm, yeah, I, I am, um, in, in 2016, I, I was sectioned, unfortunately, it was really, really horrible, um, a really nasty time for, for my mental health, and um, there was a bit of commotion outside the house, and the police were there and stuff, and it was horribly, horribly embarrassing. Oh. Um, yeah, but uh, actually a neighbour, who someone I literally didn't know, I didn't know their name, still don't know who they are, they posted a, a card through our door to say, get well soon, and wish you the best. Um, and it really meant so much. Like, you know, my mum had been telling me at the time, like, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Don't, you know, don't need to worry about, about what's happened. But it, that message didn't, it didn't cut through to me then because I felt like my mum would just tell me anything I needed to hear, you know. But somehow a stranger telling me that they wished me well and that, you know, that they were, were hoping for the best recovery, it, it did, it meant something in a different way. And then it kind of, I felt like an acceptance and a, and a sense of like being welcome again in my community and I think we don't always realize like of course our nearest and dearest are important but that person you pass by on the street that you know the, the stranger they have something very special to to offer um yeah. you know because that you're I not embroiled s- in a whole yeah. set I think of someone once said you know love your neighbor as yourself I can't remember his name he had a beard and a sandal <laughs> so I don't know who he was but um, yeah. You know, it, it's a really core cool message, isn't it? You yeah, love your neighbour as yourself. True. And also, you know what I love about this as well, Amy and Kate, is the fact that we live in a world of social media where people are very quick to send you a message and often, I'm afraid to say, people are very often quick to send you messages telling you they don't like you, quite frankly. Yeah. And here's, yeah. here's a message where you can send a card to someone and just that little random act of kindness can change someone's life. Exactly, exactly. It's a small thing. I mean... You know, we small things can make a big difference, and um, and it's a little thing that we can all do. And we don't need to wait for you know someone to rescue us. It's uh, it's a thing we can all do to lift ourselves up and each other. Well, well done, Amy. It's been lovely talking to you. Thank you so much for your time. That's absolutely wonderful. If you know someone who's doing something amazing, who should be our charity champion, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply email us at gms at bbc.co.uk. Thank you, Amy.